See Woo Kim from the left hand rough here at the 10. Yeah, all below his feet. Terrible angle, 193 yards. I don't know, this would be incredible just get the ball on the green. The rain pelting down. Not a bad lead right there. And a slight upslope. The rough's going to be a lot tougher to uh, deal with as the rain continues to fall. But um, Gay will get to work from the first cut of rough. He's played 18 events this year, Craig. One top 25 finish, but it was a victory. The man has done it with quality rather than quantity. Oh, of course. He struggled with the iron game this year outside the top 200. And this will challenge him. And conditions like this, John, you, just, you really you can come to a grinding halt, the pace of play, because you just want to be prepared and ready. Um, you know, you need the grip dry. You need to, to frame that mental picture clearly. You don't want to do anything in a hurry in these sort of conditions. Much better angle than Siwoo Kim had. Coming out of the first cut helps. It's from 191 and he's got it just about flag high. Yeah, fantastic shot. And Steele on top of this one quickly here. board but very rapid coming down the slope from the back part of that green and it wasn't necessarily Jack it was more Barbara but they were so proud of uh, sort of their their native son to come in and, and finally get his PGA tour card and winning it you know getting securing it emphatically with that victory you mentioned Third shot here for Siwoo Kim, 11th best on the tour in terms of scrambling at 64% this season, 21st in strokes gained around the greens. He's a guy that's trying to be more consistent. You, you know, you talked about Brian Gay, just the one victory, and Siwoo Kim has accomplished so much and seemingly at such young ages, but he will disappear for, for months on end and then all of a sudden show back up. But, uh, isn't, he is, he was the second youngest to win on the Corn Ferry Tour, and then he goes and win at Wyndham, the second youngest international player behind Seve to win there in Greensboro, and then to win the Players' Championship, the youngest ever to do that. It's, uh, it's been pretty remarkable what he has accomplished. Well, he won the American Express earlier this yep. season, to your point. Missed the cut in three of his next four starts, and the other was a tie for 50th. There was a WD in there long stretches of sort of dry spells, but then really high points of productivity when Siwoo Kim has got things clicking. First putt we've seen from the, the back portion of the green today. We'll see how Brendan Steele deals with it. Outside 60 feet to navigate here for the Californian. Huh? Now you get in the back part of the screen and there, there is a ridge which comes basically right here. So everything really speeds up as it works to that low point. So even though the rain has been falling, this, these greens are always rapid. And this one will be one of the fastest putts on the golf course. The fire taken out a little bit with the, the dampening of the rain. Steals 131st in putting on the tour in terms of strokes gained on the greens this season. Christian Donald there on the back. Longtime caddy and brother of Luke. Steele's breakthrough on the tour came in San Antonio at the Valero Texas Open in 2011. He had won the season-ending event on what is now the Corn Ferry Tour the year before that, 2010. And 
that one is pretty well judged for pace. That was a, a pretty incredible year. I'm, I don't have the entire list in, the, in my mind, but I know that Keegan Bradley was part of that graduating class in 2010. Okay, he shot of Dylan Fratelli, another player who's gone to work in the gym, trying to pick up club head speed, ball speed, a little extra yardage. Next on the tee from Topeka, Kansas, yeah. Gary yeah. Woodland. It's all, all about prolonging your, your career, really injury prevention, but some of these guys have worked on the rotational velocity to help gain some club head speed. This guy's always had plenty of that. And he's fighting through injuries, trying to got torn labrums and issues, and he just does not want to go under the knife, because if he does, he'll be out for almost a year. Really hard to play with knees and hip injuries. Next on the tee from Baghdad, Florida, Bubba Watson. Because the foundation with which you work is unstable. Bob is the third member of the group here. He's teeing it up for the 14th time in this event. Finished third in 2014. One of three top tens here through the years. Is it under your jacket? A big no. cut off that right bunker. You think you'd, you'd would have had more success here because you remember how and that one yes was down there wet rough how good he's been with the iron game he can shape shots in to get to these whole locations sometimes when you miss these greens so that's the deficiency in Bubba's game throughout the years tough to get the ball up and down and we've talked extensively about the significant renovations here at Muirfield Village here's what Bubba thinks about it Brian Gay for birdie up ahead here this has been the hallmark of this man's game for more than 20 years Watson Interesting comments from Bubba, right? He's acutely aware of the mental challenges that this game presents. Greg, he's been very open and honest about his own uh, mental health issues and challenges and uh, was quick to point out how Phil Mickelson was really locked in Kiwa, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, no question about it. And uh, it's he's sort of ebullient now with his comments of this place and the, the mental side of the game. He was also talked, uh, spoke out recently about Naomi Osaka and her struggles dealing with the media and talking uh, through that and good to see Bubba sort of engaging the struggles, engaging with all of us the struggles that he's been through. You, you bring it all in, it becomes a heavy burden, you let it out. I think it can be rather fulfilling. Steal for par, looking to get this down in two from about uh, 60 feet or so. Back portion of the green, it's a nice two putt. It certainly is. Back-to-back -back winner of the Safeway Open, Napa, California. That was a very... Yeah, we had a brief deluge, we'll call it. Uh, lasted about 15 minutes. The rain has subsided for now. Fratelli just inside 190 here. Just hack and hope right here. He'll be really cognizant of where that flagstick is. and It's not a bad miss there. You try and just hack it out with complete disregard to where the ball's going to go and you short side yourself becomes very problematic. Bubba's going to have to dig one out here. Can't even see the top of the ball from this angle. Then you add the, the moisture content. The, the, you know, this whole golf course was, has been completely resurfaced. So the, this is as lush as it's going to get. Oh, gosh, it's so bad. Yeah. This is garbage, man. It's pretty good to get it to there. Bubba didn't seem too good. No. <laughs> Woodland drove it in the rough, had to punch out, now plays his third here at 10. You throw it out to the right, maybe a little long, and spin it back down the hill. Good there. I've 
seen a lot of par putts in that uh, 10 to 15 foot range here at the 10th to start the day. Let's see what Bubba can do with this one for his third. Yeah, there's a fall off in the front of the green, so you have to pitch it over that area. It sort of runs, runs sort of in this area here, so everything will fall back here. So you've got to fly it over that and try and spin it. Do not get this above the hole. Get a little moisture between the club face and the ball, John. It can skip uncontrollably. Might have been a little bit of that there. First featured group ready to rip here. And Hideki leads us off. Let's take it inside that bunk, the right bunker. Gentle draw. Mm. Excellent opening tee shot. Thomas will be next. He has played here you know, a handful of times through the years. Eight start, a couple of top ten finishes, but never really a factor late on the weekend. Yeah, you think <laughs> as good as he is with the iron game, top five in strokes gained approach the last five years, he would, that's what this golf course requires. Obviously lost in the playoff to Morikawa work day last year at this venue but that was a different golf course from what they played the memorial last year and what it's going to be this year yeah 10 shot differential in the winning score on the same course two weeks running sixth start in tournament history for patrick reed a top 10 finish back in 2016. damp soggy conditions he's not an accurate driver and a, not a long driver of the golf course so important to get the ball in play first and foremost tight draw heading down the left hand side looks like reed has missed the fairway over there in the first of our two featured groups he's off the tenth and in action here on day one Seen a lot of little pitch shots from this area short of the green here at 10. Here's Fratelli. Well, I think the, the issue these players are dealing with, that's magnificent there, is that you know, with the rain, that's where it's going to click down to the low area. It cuts differently than the fairway cut. It's, it's so pure, the surrounds, which were all regrassed uh, in this renovation. Little, maybe just a little bit soggy, and you, the contact has to be so precise especially from bent grass. Par putt coming up here for Gary Woodland. You mentioned the torn labrum that he's been dealing with, Craig. It's a question I think a lot of athletes have to ask themselves, whether they're in team sport, individual sport, are you hurt or are you injured? And there's a distinction between those two, and it's a hard self-assessment to make because you can do further damage if you try and play through the pain sometimes. Yeah, you have to get the experts in your stable and get great advice because, I mean, there is a lot of talk that you put on your body, especially with, with Gary, you know, generating that much force and that much velocity. Um, but what's the alternative? You're never gonna, there's always new normals, right? There's always changing in what's 100%. You're never really gonna be 100% once you go under the knife. And uh, it's a dilemma. He's had a great career. Do you say, I'm gonna shut it down for a whole year and try and get 100% healthy, healthy, or do you play through it? Maybe if you're 25 years old, the decision may be different than if you're 35. 
Nice work from Woodland to avoid any damage here at the first. U.S. Open champion Pebble Beach. And heading back to California for the Open in a couple weeks' time. Back to Torrey Pines. Bubba from above the hole here for his par. I'm always amazed. You know, we, we think of Phil, the long, languid move with a lot of speed. Never really been injured. He's had the arthritis. Bubba, lengthy career now in his 40s. Long, languid, you know, looseness in the hips and the heels coming off the ground. Never really been injured. It, Think of those, a lot of those swings that have had restriction in the lower half and the talking. It's the sort of the model that has faltered or broken down. Need freedom in that golf swing for sure. For Kelly with the kind of the same flavor putt that Bubba just had, the South African by way of the University of Texas. Now 30 years of age, John Deere Classic champion in 2019. Yeah, he was on that NC2A winning team with Speed. Cody Gribble. He's a ball one on the PGA Tour. Good save there from Dylan. Pulled up short of that bunker over there. Dreadful spot here. Ball above his feet in the primary cut. This is all about where can I leave this golf ball and get the ball to give me myself the best chance to get it up and down. And just take it at that right bunker. And give yourself more space with your third. That was a seven iron for Reed, just trying to gash it out of there. And look at that collection of water just from the 20 minutes or so of rain that we had here. Some low-lying areas of the property where the rain will gather and sort of pool up. Hideki staring straight down at the flagstick with this one. Yeah, 166 yards here, John. And I mentioned that whole location just four from the left. I don't think you really need to take it on. Center of the green. Gentle draw. Ideal, absolutely got it whole high. You got any miss left out of the equation. And that's why he has that active streak of seven consecutive years, top 10 of strokes gained approach. Thomas from the intermediate cut along the right. And just how the ball is gonna react coming out of that first cut. Same yard as his Hideki had. Took some speed out of the golf swing to try and take out the flyer. And the release up to the correct level. Gorgeous shot. Side by side with Matsuyama. A couple of good birdie looks coming up here for the. Looks like Patrick Reed did get some stance relief from that pooled up water there, Craig. Yeah, casual water, I believe. I was reading an article last night and. You know, he was talking about even just for the simplest rulings, potentially calling for an official. 